A lot of coral reefs are near the coast and it's easy to imagine that if we are not managing the coastal land by a nearshore reef well, that you could have runoff from pollutants, soil, even human sewage, and that that could reach those nearshore reefs and cause negative impacts, especially because coral reefs are naturally growing in nutrient poor waters. Here in Texas, we are on the Gulf Coast and the closest reef is 160 kilometers offshore. You have to get on a boat and ride overnight to go see this amazing high coral cover reef that's still in really good shape. But one thing we always thought the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary and those corals were safe from was this terrestrial runoff and nutrient pollution. However, we've had a lot of extreme storms recently affecting the Gulf Coast from the tax day flood in 2016 to Hurricane Harvey in 2017 that caused a lot of flooding. And when all those floodwaters gradually move offshore and move out into the open ocean, we found out in this research, they can cause problems even on a reef that starts as deep as 60 feet and is, you know, 100 miles offshore. So we were pretty shocked by that. The next step that we want to do is to look at what sorts of processes these human fecal bacteria are, are conducting. But there really has not been very much information at all about the microorganisms that live on bunges out on this remote reef. And so we've detected them now. And the next step is to understand what they might do while they're present on sponges after a flood, and then to also understand how long it takes the sponge to sort of clear them after they've become contaminated.